Hello and welcome to WordPress Tutorials. In today's video, I'll show you how to add variations, attributes, just like sizes, colors, or any other product attribute to the WooCommerce product, and how you can uh, build the drop downs for sizes or colors on the front end of a product. So this is called attributes. There are two types of attributes. One is local attribute and one is global attribute. Let me show you what is uh, the difference between local and global attribute. So if you go to your WooCommerce backend or WordPress backend, then you can see there are uh, there is a menu called attributes. So if you add some attributes here and add the uh, different values to this, then this is called global attribute. And these can be filterable using a search and filter plugin. But if you add uh, an attribute to the product itself just by typing it and uh, adding the values by separating it by pipe sign, then that is called local attribute, which can be shown on the front end, uh, which can be also added as a drop down on front end, but it will not be searchable on uh, any search plugin. So in this video, I'll show you how to add global attributes. First of all, go to your attributes section. As you can see currently, I do not have any attribute. So I'll first add one attribute, which will be size. And I'll click enable archives, which means it will build a, a taxonomy for that. And you can add it as a filter on front end. So after giving the name and this uh, checkbox, custom ordering or name term ID, you can choose ordering as well. Click on add attribute and it will be added as a taxonomy. Now we have to add the terms, which means it will have uh, values, uh, for example, from seven to 12. Let's click on configure terms and we can add values to the size attribute. So first of all, let's add size one, uh, sorry, seven. And Let's type some description. If you do not want to add a description, then just leave it. Click on add new size, seven added, eight, and press enter, nine, 10, and 11. So currently we have five sizes from seven to 11. Now we have a product or let's just add a new product and change it from a simple product to variable product first. Okay, it will now have a new tab which is called variations attributes is always always there uh, it's in simple product as well but as we are adding a drop down menu to the product that is why we will change it from simple to variable now let's add a shoe a sample shoe adidas and add some description Sample description. Some short description. Add some bullets. Feature one is best shoe. And let's enter feature two. Bright colors. Let's leave these two features and add it to a category. Let's search for shoe. We have a shoes and jewelry. You can also add sports and outdoors because uh, this shoe can be a sports shoe. Okay. Now uh, go to the product data. Uh, we have already changed it from simple to variable. Now go to inventory. You can give it an SKU, for example, Adidas one and 
go to attributes now okay there are uh, two types of attribute which I al already uh, told you uh, for example if you see here you can add an existing attribute from here or you can add a local attribute for example color and then add color blue then pipe sign red yellow so this is an example of a local attribute but if you choose it from the global attribute then you will see it like this the name is not changeable and the value is also uh, not typeable you can just click here and choose which sizes do you have for this and it will be available the size can also be a local attribute but as we added to the global uh, and we want it to be searchable that is why we added it as a global attribute so you can see here is uh, the difference between local and global attribute but if you save it it's visible on product page and also used for variations so if you go to the products page let's just publish this product and if you go to the front end of this product then you can see that there are two attributes and you can see no difference from here color blue red yellow size 10 11 7 8 9 so uh, this is also okay if you can add uh, local attributes but there will be a problem when you add filters using search and filter plugin or any other plugin then that will not be searchable if you add it as a local attribute so now come to the variation section and we have uh, we can uh, generate variations like we will generate all variation the combinations of colors and sizes currently you can see there is uh, no drop down here so if you come here there are 15 variations blue with 10 size blue with 11 7 8 9 10 10 with red 11 7 8 9 10 with yellow so three colors and uh, all five attributes all five sizes for each color and you have to add prices for each color separately even though if there is the same price for all of these variations you will you must have to add price to each of these variations so that it reflects on the front end let me add them real quick so we added blue with all sizes let me show you what difference will it make if we do not add uh, all these other variations and just the blue with all sizes if you come to the front end refresh the page then you will see two drop downs here there is a price 33 but if you want to add it will not be added to cart because uh, you didn't choose any of uh, these variations so first of all let's add blue and choose any size and you can see add to cart is now active but if you choose red then you will uh, you will not be allowed because we do not have prices for some of these yes uh, if you choose blue you can see all sizes but if you choose red then there is only one size 10 because we only have a price for red and 10 but if you choose red and 9 you can you add value for this let's add 44 for red and 9 and let's save the changes and go to sample product and refresh it now you will see the price change as well so the currently uh, price range is from 33 to 44 so if you choose red and 10 it will be 33 but if you choose 9 then it will be 44 you can see the price is changing in real time similarly if you choose blue then we chose uh, 33 for all these sizes you can add different price to different size or color combination 
so uh, this is how you can add the attributes colors sizes uh, or some other custom uh, attribute and this was the difference between global and local attribute so uh, i guess you learned something from today's video uh, please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and you will not miss my future videos thank you